Hey guys, this is Drew Mario 1306, and I'm back with a Let's Play that I did not expect to do, but was thinking about it for doing this for months now. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest for the Super Nintendo. This is my first Super Nintendo LP. And on top of that, yeah, we'll just start. Why not? Uh, this is a blind playthrough. Now, to be fair, I did play this game one other time. Going through a, a few of the levels here. As we start with our first level, Pirate Panic. I have played a little bit of this world, but I have not played through the rest of the game. So, we'll see what's in stock for this LP. Storyline, basically. I've kidnapped that lumbering fool Donkey Kong, and you will never see him again. Har 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 har. So yeah, Donkey Kong's captured. You will find a one-up if you come come in here. And our capturer is none other none other than Captain K. Rule. So yeah, uh, we put, let's play as Diddy Kong here. And Dixie Kong is his partner in crime. Eh, basically, um... What was I gonna tell you? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, Twilight Princess. That's still on hold, so... If you're wondering why... If you're wondering why that hasn't been up yet, that's the reason why. I mean, it's probably going to be moved back to another month or two, so yeah. Uh, what you could do is actually throw Dixie Kong up there, and I missed. Or Dixie can actually throw Diddy also. I missed twice. What the heck? There we go. We got one print for him. Okay. K and O. If you spell the word uh, Kong, you will get a 1-up. Uh, I remember having a Bugs Life for the PS1, and there were some similarities in that game. You have to spell the main character's name, Flick, to get the 1-up there. But that's a different game, so... There's a little bit of lag here, because I grabbed the end. Uh, what you can find is actually bonus barrels, where it consists of find the token, and two other ones. Find the token is just basically get to the end of the sta end of the bonus stage and pretty much got the creme coin. Uh, I will not go through all the creme coins unless I somehow do pretty good on this LP. Because this is a blind one. So yeah. And I did try doing this earlier this week, but for some reason something got lost along the way. Apparently the footage was missing. I have to The animal I just picked up is Randy the Rhino. Which who can charge and pretty much destroy anything in its way. Speaking of destroy, we gotta destroy them all here and just get rid of the enemies that are in the area. It seems like whenever I jump, it's just laggy. I did have some few issues with lag in the last last time I recorded this, or at least attempted to. And there's also DK coins, which is also part of the completion. I have seen a playthrough of this, but only one, like, a few times. But, the thing is, I'm blind to the controls, and that, for, I thought I was going to do pretty well in this game, but, of course, I have not tried the controls part, and because of that, I don't know how I'll do. But, that's the end of the level, and Diddy does his boombox. The only means of getting the prizes is to jump from a distance. 
from a high distance. And all right, we come to our second level, Main, main Brin's Mayhem. I need to switch to Dixie Kong because Dixie's gonna need this beginning level area. And it looks like I'm doing far better than I did the first time. Let me find another token. Yeah. Alright, now between this game, I wasn't sure which game to do for my side LP. It was this game or the first Donkey Kong Country game. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but I decided to go with this game. From what I hear, this is like one of the greatest games of all time for the SNES. So I just picked up, decided to do this one. I also did hear that this game is a bit tri on the tricky side, but I did pretty well. I did decent the first time I did, did this. Oh god, that was not decent. Get out of here. There's no means of going over there now. I don't think there's anything over there though. You're out. <laughs> Black is left. There's far less lag in this attempted playthrough compared to the last one. Alright. Dixie's back. Uh, I do want to use Dixie though. There we go. Because, I, well, if I jump up here, that's just a hidden barrel, thanks to the banana up there. Green ba green balloons, two up. I drop, but if I drop, I get the feeling I'm going to drop next to the enemy instead of on top of it. Of course, if you recall the... Well, if you recall the incident earlier with the bug... Whoa. Whoa. That was a close one. There, I take that. Um. Alright, Diddy can hold items in front of him. Dixie can hold items on top of using her hair. As we get another destroy them all. Diddy can actually use the item as a shield. In, for the front, for whatever's in front of him. Well, Dixie Kong can hold the uh, whatever item on top of her head. Of course, that means Dixie's head is protected by that item, and that was stupid. That was stupid. All right, let's destroy them all one more time without running off. Now, if you do use Dixie, you do have to use the top of her head. Oh, that was not good. All right, got him from got him from above. The jump, jump. I think that's what happened last time. Apparently, the controls didn't respond. Come on, there you go. And you do have to collect the coin because there was an instance where I was about to collect the coin and the time just ran out still. So you do have to collect the coin in order to pass the bonus. You just you can't just kill the enemies. Okay, I guess the bug takes two hits. Okay. All right, jump over here, and another bonus. Oh, maybe I maybe I can do. Well, 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright, this is the other bonus. Collect the stars. Well, that pretty much explains what this bonus is supposed to be, so I got no reason to explain it whatsoever. So, I'm gonna, uh, I don't expect to finish this game, but we'll see what happens. Who knows? I might finish it. Of course, I say things I don't really mean, and it turns out in the future that these are things that actually do or don't happen. So, I don't know. I mean... I'm not going to expect myself to be according to schedule. Well, what I'm saying is... As Dixie Kong rocks on, it's pretty much... I'll do what I can in this game, because I'm pretty blind to this one. Although I did a very good job in the first two levels. I'm not necessarily blind, but, you know. My, I'm not used to the controls, so yeah. If you come here to Monkey Museum, come and say hello to your grandpa, grandpappy Cranky. I'm back. My popular demands to offer you my wealth of gameplay and wisdom for this unnecessary sequel. See, you're back again. Everybody likes old Cranky. I bet my ugly old wife doesn't get half as many visits. Every time you should spend all your tokens here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Because banana coins are your best friend, and you might need them for lives. But if you click on something, uh, like Pirate Panic, it'll give you advice. I think there's something else you could use for one, two, or three coins. But I got no time for that. Guess I better tidy this miserable dump a bit. Yeah, you should, Cranky. So yeah, that was Cranky Con, giving you advice. We will move on to Gangplank Galley, level three. Huh. Alright, bonus up there, so... That's just, of course, another token one. That was a little bit risky because even if I did hit the B, I could have been... Well, how do I put this? Oh, damn it, I did not want to go in the bonus again. Alright, time to die. Time to die. Or should I say leave? You know what, that's not a big deal. If I do pretty well in this LP, and if I happen to somehow complete it, blind, I'll come back to this. Damn it. But I think my only goal here is to, like, play what I can, or at the very least, uh, finish the game. That's what I'm just gonna do right now. I mi wait, I missed that? Hmm. Am I close to a halfway point? Halfway point has to be close, right? Let me try getting her again. No, I can't seem to get it. That was close. But... I get the sense that the halfway point is closer, so I'll just go for that. Another banana coin. <laughs> These banana coins are useful. There, There's another barrel. <laughs> Take that. Hey, why did I miss the O? You know what? Well, there's no point in getting the G. Yeah, 
you know, I really, well, here's a, here's something new, invincibility. That's just a letter, so I can just move on. Yeah, the exclamation marks is invincibility. All right, so I managed to make up that bonus. I think the... I could have easily been... I could have easily been knocked out by that last enemy if I waited a few seconds later. I don't think there was a... I don't think there's a warning that doesn't give you in, no more invincibility. Okay, this part, I had to use DixieCon most of the time, because I could not... And I managed to miss the prize. Yeah. Yeah, you have to jump from a high distance to get that, but I had to use DixieCon on that last jump because it doesn't seem like I can make that last jump with Diddy. Con College is the save points. Simple as that. And first time it's free, but they do get expensive if you say the second time. So with that we got 8% done. But I'm, remember I'm just here to s finish the game. Yeah, it get yeah, two coins to, s to save again. Yeah. You're gonna need your banana coins. But I think we're coming up on time, so next time we will do Lockjaw's Locker. So thanks for watching. This has been Drew Mario, and I'll see you in the next part.